United States has just escalated its rivalry with China in a spacious and dramatic new way. The Trump administration has barred Chinese citizens holding US visas from working at NASA, cutting them off from facilities, research programs, and even virtual meetings. It's a sweeping move that could reshape both the global space race and scientific cooperation. According to NASA officials, the new restrictions began on September 5th and affected dozens of researchers. While the agency said the number is under 100, insiders told CNN that hundreds of scientists feel the impact, especially in climate research and space science projects funded by NASA. NASA Acting Administrator Sean Duffy, a close Trump ally and Secretary of Transportation, defended the restrictions. In a fiery Fox Business appearance, he declared, China is not going to the moon with good intentions. America will get there first, preserving peace for both the US and our international partners. The restrictions ban Chinese researchers from physical access to NASA sites, from joining Zoom calls, and even from using NASA's supercomputers. This is particularly disruptive for climate scientists, many of whom depend on NASA's data systems. A NASA spokesperson insisted these steps were about security, saying, NASA has taken internal action pertaining to Chinese nationals, including restricting physical and cybersecurity access to our facilities, materials and network to ensure the security of our work. The policy shift comes as China races to land Taikonauts on the lunar surface by 2030, directly competing with NASA's Artemis mission, which hopes to return Americans to the moon as early as 2027. Duffy ago, has gone further, well, calling for nuclear power on the moon to fuel was, a permanent uh, US settlement. Were... We're in a race to the moon, in a race with China to the moon. If another country beats us there, they could declare a keep-out zone that blocks NASA's plans. But while the Artemis program has been protected, the Trump administration's proposed 2026 budget slashes NASA's overall funding by nearly a quarter. Science programs could see cuts of almost 50%, and at least 4,000 employees are already preparing to leave. The space race is no longer just about exploration. Lawmakers on both sides say it's a matter of national security. Make no mistake, we are in a new space race with China. Space is today a strategic frontier with direct consequences for national security, economic growth, and technological leadership. We know we need to go back to the moon, and we know we need to go there before China establishes a permanent presence. The Trump administration's ban signals a turning point, severing one of the few remaining areas of US-China cooperation. With both nations racing to plant their flags on the lunar surface, the next frontier of geopolitical rivalry may not be Earth, but the moon itself. <laughs>